this example, we'll be explaining how to run arrays in simulation within Cameo. So that will get started. What you're seeing here is our added up context block, which we'll be running in simulation. Uh, we have several, four different constraint blocks that have been added to the added up context block by dragging it over here. And uh, constraint one, two, three has three constraints within it. And constraint four, five, and six each have one constraint. And we've got some initial values, which you can see there. So we'll jump into constraints one through four, and we will run this block. So what we're seeing at the beginning is we're, that we're doing uh, B1 equals the sum of A1. And uh, the intention here is that you would have input values at F and G, and then it would output the sum of them. And you can see this is not working. Um, the, the items that we would change in this first constraint, one, two, three, is the multiplicity on this, uh, this constraint parameter. So on the input constraint parameter, we've got nothing which defaults to one, we've got many, and then we've got two. You can see that the only one that works is the many, and the many, what that means is, is that it appends the values H and J together. So you can see if I hover over it, it says three comma four, and it creates an array. And then it sums that array to create seven. So I can go in and change H from three to nine, and it will, it will work. If I go change F from one to six, it actually changes G as well. And the reason that is, is because this connection line or binding connector is equivalent to an equal sign. So it sees equals, and then this also sees equals, and it's expecting one return, so or one scalar, so that's why it, it, it kicks it. Um, and then this right here, it, it just doesn't work. So the, the functionality you need to understand is that the asterisks will append values. Okay, moving on to constraint four, we have inputted arrays for M and N, and um, outputted a two by one array, which seems to be as I intended. So you would want 100 plus four, and that would give you 104, and then 12 plus 5,000 would give you that. So if I look at the constraints within the simulation window, you'll see that it isn't, uh, the Cameo isn't able to, um, it has to add a scalar by an array. It can't add two arrays at once. So that's why it created two constraints here. So it does the, the 100 plus 4, and then it does the uh, 12 plus 5,000. Um, additionally, if you were to stop this and change this to a multiplication sign, the it will still work where it will do 100 times 4 and 12 times 5,000. The other thing to mention, we'll change that back to a plus, is if you wanted to have um, four outputs, you can change this to a one. And I'll rerun it. And so what it's doing is it's doing 100 plus four, and then four plus 12, and then 5,000 plus 100, and then 5,000 plus 12. So it's doing all the different permutations. And when you look at it down in the constraint, you can see that we have two constraints. But within that constraint, we have a second drop down for the array. So this is new. So it's doing the scalar of A for B of 4, the first one. And then it's doing 112. So it's doing M. And then down here, it's doing. Uh, a for B, the second value, 5,000, and then it's adding the M to that, the 100 and then the 12 value. So if you do, if you do this with um, the multiplication sign, we'll see what happens. It still runs as anticipated. One thing to note that is critically important is that you have to have this asterisk sign on the output here. So if I change this back to something more normal, um, we'll leave it at 
change it to two here. So now I've got two outputs. If I were to leave this off, the multiplicity off, then it would default to one value, and that's not as anticipated. If you if you were to have the other situation, so right now it will create four outputs, right? But again, it will only create that one value. If you change this to uh, to two, then it will only show the first two values. So I like when I'm troubleshooting to just leave this output at the mini so that it will give me all the values. All right, so now we'll look at constraints five and six. And these are essentially just adding different, adding the two, uh, the, the two features or the two functions that we learned from before. So the asterisks from before as well as the adding together. So the, the concept here is that um, it's appending 10 and 12, 10 and 12, and you can hover your mouse here and you can see that it's appended it. And then it's appending five or 505, four and five. And then it's adding them all together to create one output. You could also change the math here and just remove this sum, make it a little bit simpler and it will still function appropriately. Um, this one here is appending and adding, but um, it's not summing. So the summing is, is going from an array of four to a scalar. That's what that sum feature does. And this one is just adding arrays. So it's, it's adding that 10, 12, 5, 8,000 to the 500, 5, 4, 5 and it's getting this as the output. So I hope this example helped explain um, simulation. One more thing I'd like to say is if you're trying to troubleshoot, it's very helpful to go down here to the console and change to built-in math as your um, language, if, if that's what you've written your constraints in, and then you can start to uh, test down here. So if I do sum of four, six, and then do that, and I hit enter and it'll just give you an error. And it's because I have the capital S for sum. So if I just redo that and click up and it will give you your last command. And now it works. So you can test to see if other functions are in, a, in existence. So like I'm trying to be av for average right now. Doesn't look like that one's a good one. But uh, I think this one mean will work. Four comma five. Yes, so it gives me an answer. So that's a quick way to test. So, all right, hope that helped. Thanks.